Let's talk about documentaries. We've all watched our fair share of things like Tiger King to get us through lockdown, Formula One Drive to Survive to get us into Formula One for the first time, or the heartwarming 2016 epic documentary called Chicken People, which chronicles the journey of a few fiercely competitive chicken breeders. Yes, you heard that correctly, chicken breeders. If you haven't seen it, please, please, please do yourself a favor and watch it. There's no denying that documentaries are awesome, and when we think about these films, we think about a cohesive masterpiece that tells a story in a brief period of time. Whether it be 90 minutes or over a few episodes, the reality of it is these documentaries often follow groups of people or one person for months or years at a time to collect enough footage to build an engaging storyline. A true documentary, not talking about like a reality series here, not to say that Selling Sunset or The Bachelor aren't works of cinematic greatness. Look at me when I'm talking to you. You don't even value this relationship anymore. Where are you going? Yeah, okay, maybe I overreacted a little bit, but Hendrix is a sassy little boy. But I'm talking about more of a traditional cinema verite style documentary. That kind of shooting requires a lot of storage, especially if you're shooting in 4K and greater, which you will have to if you want to sell said documentary to Netflix like Tiger King. This is not a Hollywood blockbuster, which is also important to remember because those have massive data needs, but those shots are planned well in advance, so there are a lot less surprises in terms of data requirements. Oftentimes, these documentary projects employ multiple cameras as well, which naturally causes the terabytes to grow exponentially. You gotta be prepared for that. A documentary can have a shooting ratio of 60 to 1, meaning for every 60 minutes of footage shot, that will yield one minute of finished film. So it's gonna require a lot of storage. So let's talk a little bit about potential documentary workflow. First off, you can capture that footage with our Atlas Pro and Atlas Ultra memory cards. And as for storage, maybe drive speed for editing isn't the most important consideration here for documentary, but massive, reliable storage and backups are paramount. SSDs are gonna win out in the speed race, but for this type of work, HDDs or spinning disks can provide more capacity at a lower price point. So when you're planning for your post-production regarding storage, this is something to consider. Also, portability could be a key feature depending on the subject matter and where the camera crews will have to venture to. Take, for example, the recent Machine Gun Kelly documentary, Life in Pink, which is on Hulu. Director Sam Cahill was out on the road with Machine Gun Kelly for months and months at a time, capturing footage on the road. This was then offloaded and edited on a Thunder Bay Flex 8, which is a perfect example of a documentary workflow. Capture, bring it home, edit. What other products would serve this type of filmmaking? Let's go ahead and take a look. Starting with the Gemini, this is the perfect all-in-one DIT setup. It can move relatively easily, and for smaller, shorter projects, can be your beginning and end drive. With capacities up to 40 terabytes and RAID protection, along with a built-in SD card reader and other functionality, a documentary filmmaker could create a few smaller projects from start to finish on a single Gemini. If you're a bit more adventurous in your filmmaking and you don't have as much reliable access to plug-in power, or you don't want to or you can't carry around a desktop RAID, the bus-powered Envoy Pro FX, available in capacities up to four terabytes, is gonna be your best friend, or friends, depending on how much you shoot. These super fast portable SSDs will get your cards dumped in no time. And you can take all those rugged as heck Envoy Pros back to your edit suite and transfer them to the big dogs in this workflow conversation. Speaking of big dogs, you or your post-production team is gonna need a final repository where you will be doing all this editing. You're gonna to wanna to have this be a RAID protected solution, so the appropriately sized Thunder Bay or Flex 8 or something similar is gonna be perfect for allowing access to massive amounts of files all in one place. And if you're looking for a more cost-effective backup slash editing solution, the Mercury Elite Pro Quad can give you up to 80 terabytes of capacity in a reasonably affordable package. Hopefully this gets you psyched up to go create the next Tiger King and gives you the information you're gonna to need to be able to store all that awesome footage. There are lots of big capacity storage solutions here at Otherworld Computing. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to see the Lion Queen on Netflix or whatever the next awesome culture shifting documentary may be. And who knows, maybe you're the one that can find the interesting story to follow with a camera, create lots of cool footage, and whatever that story is, and however much footage you have, Otherworld Computing is your partner to support the data and storage needs you have, no matter how big or small. Oh yeah, and one final reminder, please go watch Chicken People. You're not gonna regret it. I wonder what they stored their media on. <laughs>